Welcome. Today, we'll be going through L to P of the Olympiad Geometry Theorems collection. First up, we have L for the useful lemma of perpendicularity. And this says that if A, B, C and D are points on the plane, where A is not B and C is not D, lines A, B and C, D are perpendicular if and only if A, C squared plus B, D squared is equal to A, D squared plus BC squared. This lemma can be useful to prove that angles are right angles and that lines are perpendicular. It also gives us the result of Carnot's theorems. If we look at the diagram on the right, we see a quadrilateral whose diagonals are perpendicular to each other and three of the side lengths are three, four and five. We need to find the final side length. Well, using the lemma of perpendicularity, we get AC squared plus BD squared is equal to AD squared plus BC squared. We then get AC squared plus 16 is equal to 9 plus 25, and AC squared is equal to 18, so AC must be the square root of 18. Next, we have M for Menelaus's theorem. Now, this states that AR divided by RB, multiplied by BP divided by PC, multiplied by CQ divided by QA, is equal to one if and only if PQR is a straight line. The converse is also true and can be useful to show that PQR is a straight line. Now, if you're interested in how to prove this thing, one way to do it is to draw in C prime on AB, where C, C prime is parallel to PQR and observing the similar triangles QAR and CAC prime and the other set of similar triangles C, B, C prime and P, B, R. I'll leave you to finish off the proof. Next, we have N for the nine point circle. Now, every triangle has a nine point circle and this circle is interesting because it goes through the three midpoints of the sides of the triangle, the three feet of the altitudes of the triangle, and the three midpoints of the segments joining the vertices of the triangle to its orthocenter H. There are lots of interesting facts about the nine point circle. We will include two in this video. The first is that the radius of the nine point circle is half of the radius of the circumcircle of the same triangle. And the second fact is that a nine point circle bisects a line segment going from the orthocenter H to any point on the circumcircle. To put this fact into practice, we can take point D where DMH is a straight line and D is on the circumcircle. And we need to prove that ADCH is a parallelogram. Well, because D is on the circum circle and M is on the nine point circle and H is H, M is the midpoint of DH. And so M bisects HD and AC. So the diagonals of ADCH bisect each other, which means that ADCH is a parallelogram. Next, we have O for the orthic triangle. A, E, B, F and C, G are the altitudes of the triangle, so angle AEB is 90, BFA is 90, and CGB is 90, H is the orthocenter, and EFG is the orthic triangle. There are lots of cyclical quadrilaterals in this diagram. HFAG, HGBE, EHFC, CFGB, CEGA, EFAB are all cyclical quadrilaterals. We can show that HFAG is a cyclical quadrilateral by looking at the angles AGH and AFH. They are both 90 degrees, and so the sum of the opposite angles in this quadrilateral is 180, which means that it is a cyclical quadrilateral. The same can be done for HGBE and EHFC. Now we can show that EFAB is a cyclical quadrilateral 
by observing the right angle triangles AEB and AFB. We will first look at the circumcircle of AEB. Now, because it's a right angle triangle, AB is a diameter of the circumcircle and the midpoint of AB is the center of the circumcircle. Now, if we look at the circumcircle of AFB, AB is still the diameter of the circumcircle and the midpoint of AB is also the center of the circumcircle of AFB. So what we get is that triangles AEB and AFB share the same circumcircle. And so AFEB lie on the same circle and so it's a cyclical quadrilateral. The same can be done for CFGB and CEGA. Next, we will look at the in-center of the orthic triangle. Now, for acute triangles, the in-center of the orthic triangle is H, the orthocenter. For obtuse, it would be the vertex with the obtuse angle. A useful fact to keep in mind with this is that the area of a triangle is the semi-perimeter of that triangle multiplied by the in-radius of that triangle. Finally, the orthic triangle has the smallest perimeter among all the triangles inscribed in an acute triangle ABC. Final one for today, we have P for Ptolemy's theorem, which states that for any cyclical quadrilateral ABCD, AC multiplied by BD is equal to AB multiplied by CD plus BC multiplied by AD. This is the equality case of the Ptolemy's inequality, which states that for any quadrilateral ABCD, AC multiplied by BD is less than or equal to AB multiplied by CD plus BC multiplied by AD. The converse of Ptolemy's theorem is also true and so it can be useful in proving the cyclicality of a quadrilateral. And we can also use the theorem to find missing side lengths. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.